She is known for her versatile talent as both an actress and a singer, with a career that began on stage and later transitioned to film. She is recognized for her notable roles in films such as Cool Breeze, Which Way Is Up, Scott Joplin, and The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. Her name is Margaret Avery. In the world of entertainment, one name stands out for her remarkable talent and unforgettable performances, Margaret Avery. This American actress and singer captivated audiences with her magnetic presence on stage and screen. With a career spanning several decades, Avery has left an indelible mark on the industry. Born with a passion for the arts, Margaret Avery started her journey in the spotlight on the theater stage. Her natural talent and dedication soon caught the attention of filmmakers, leading to her breakthrough in films such as Cool Breeze and Which Way Is Up. But it was her portrayal of Shug Avery in the 1985 classic The Color Purple that truly showcased her immense acting prowess. Avery's performance in The Color Purple earned her a nomination for an Academy Award for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, solidifying her status as a powerhouse in the industry. She continued to grace the silver screen with her presence, starring in films like Scott Joplin, The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh, and many more. Her versatility and ability to bring characters to life made her a sought-after talent in Hollywood. But Avery's impact extends beyond the big screen. From 2013 to 2019, she mesmerized audiences with her role as Helen Patterson in the BET drama series, Being Mary Jane. Her portrayal of the lead character's mother showcased her ability to connect with viewers on a deep and emotional level. Margaret Avery's career milestones and achievements are a testament to her extraordinary talent and dedication. Her performances have left an enduring legacy, inspiring aspiring actors and actresses around the world. With her magnetic presence and unforgettable portrayals, Margaret Avery has secured her place in the annals of entertainment history. Margaret Avery, a talented actress, made a name for herself in the 1970s and 1980s through her remarkable performances on both the stage and screen. In 1972, she received critical acclaim and the Los Angeles Drama Critics Circle Award for her outstanding performance in the play, Does a Tiger Wear a Necktie? Avery's acting prowess caught the attention of renowned director Steven Spielberg, who cast her in the television movie, Something Evil, in 1972. The same year marked Avery's theatrical motion picture debut in the crime film Cool Breeze, where she portrayed the character Lark. This blaxploitation remake of The Asphalt Jungle showcased Avery's versatility as she took on the Marilyn Monroe-inspired role. Avery continued to impress audiences with her range, playing a prostitute in the 1973 film Magnum Force, the second installment in the Dirty Harry series. Her character's tragic demise, murdered by her pimp, left a lasting impact. Avery's talent and dedication to her craft were recognized by the NAACP, as she received Image Awards for her performances in the 1976 film Louis Armstrong, Chicago Style, and the 1977 film Which Way Is Up. In the latter, directed by Michael Schultz, Avery showcased her comedic skills as Annie May, the wife of Richard Pryor's character. She also received a nomination for an Image Award for her portrayal of Belle Joplin, wife of ragtime composer Scott Joplin, in the 1977 film Scott Joplin. In 1985, Avery's career reached new heights when she landed the role of Shug Avery in the critically acclaimed film, The Color Purple. This screen adaptation of Alice Walker's novel earned Avery an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress. Her journey to securing the role was a testament to her determination, as she reached out to the casting director and put her audition on tape. Alice Walker herself was captivated by Avery's performance, describing it as a beautiful introduction to the character. Despite the success of The Color Purple and her Oscar nomination, Avery faced challenges in securing roles following the film. She experienced a two-year hiatus from film and television work, a common occurrence not only for actors of color but particularly for women of color. Avery found solace in the college lecture circuit, where she continued to engage audiences with her insights and experiences. The industry's perception of her as too big for television roles further limited her opportunities. In 1988, Avery returned to the big screen, starring in the period drama film Blueberry Hill. Her enduring talent and resilience allowed her to overcome the obstacles she faced in the industry. Avery's contributions to film and television, from her acclaimed performances to her advocacy for greater opportunities for women of color, have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.